Hey guys, today we are going to be taking a look at the new Tales Challenge Thanksgiving attacker named Corn Crabia. And we're going to be finding out whether or not he is worth getting. So let's just go ahead and get started. Let's go and look at his traits first. They are Hardened, Torture Immunity, and Self Regen, which are actually pretty great traits. That rank 1 is incredible. The other two are okay as well, but that rank one is definitely his best trait. That is a very, very powerful trait. And his relics are Banner and Essence, which are some of the best relics you can have. Those might actually be the best relics you can have. Those are incredible. So yeah, overall up here, great. His stats are also really good as well. So yeah, overall really good good stuff up here so let's go on down to the pros and the cons to see what we can find so he has good power and tray okay self-supporting and healing and damage boosting he also has strong damage output including a single 80 damage for zero cooldown which is pretty good he also has low cooldowns and stamina cost which is great and his cons are slow speed which i actually didn't see i guess that is pretty slow wow yeah that is pretty slow but you don't generally want your attacker to go first anyway so i don't think that really matters he also has no way to boost damage output outside of damage boosts, which I feel like damage boost boosts damage output pretty well. So I don't really care about that. That's kind of funny that it says that. And then questionable relics for an attacker and easily denied. I honestly like the relics. Yeah, they're not the best for an attacker. He could use a sword, but they are still pretty darn good relics. So that is great. And yeah, he is easily denied because he does not have any denial protection actually, except for maybe Harden, but that doesn't even protect him all the time. So yeah, that doesn't really work very well for denial protection. But yeah, he does have torture immunity, which is pretty great. So let's go on down to the moves to see if they are any good. So he has an AOE fire damage with self 10% heal, which is okay, that's all right, I guess. It could definitely use higher than 10% heal. That is not very high, but I guess it's fine. And then he has an 80 fire damage with zero cooldown, which is pretty good. I do like that. It is very basic though. And then he also has an AoE 40 light damage, which is fine. He also has a self triple damage with regen, which is really good. I do like that a lot. The only problem is there's no extra turn or anything. So you do have to wait another turn in order to be able to use that damage boost. So that can be a problem if you die before then. And then he also has a self damage boost, which isn't that great. Oh, it does damage as well, I guess. So yeah, that is an all right move as well. And it does 75 damage, which is quite high. So yeah, most of his attacking moves do quite a bit of damage. Actually, they all do. They all do pretty great damage. So overall, really high damage monster, but it doesn't have that many effects at all. It doesn't have any negative effects, actually, which isn't great. So yeah, I wish it had some negative effects in here. But yeah, still decent moves that I guess. It's very basic though. I do like the damage boost, but yeah, still very, very basic. And his recommended runes are either 3 strength, 2 strength, 1 team speed, or team speed. So yeah, I would probably go with the 2 strength, 1 team speed. I just realized I said team speed twice. It is 1 speed is the other option. But I would go with 2 strength, 1 team speed anyway, because that is just kind of what I use for all my attackers. It just works really well. So yeah, 2 strength, 1 team speed, or if you want to be real risky with it, you could go 1 strength, 2 team speed, but I would just go 2 strength, 1 team speed. That's definitely the best in my opinion. So yeah, I would definitely go with that. And then his recommended relics are any of these. This banner is pretty darn good. Any of the ancestral banners are great. So yeah, I would probably go with just any ancestral ancestral banner and any ancestral essence is pretty good but this obsidian essence is really good as well so yeah go ahead and go with that or whatever you want and this one actually revives him that's why it's so good there's also a diamond one that revives as well i believe it's like uriel's essence that one could be good as well if you don't have any of the really good ones so yeah just go and use any relic you have whatever the best relic is you have because it's pretty obvious when they're good and when they're not but these are the best fits and then the recommended allies are damage boosters like these monsters can work really well to help them do more damage just use any damage booster you have and yeah that could work really great and then also you could use some monsters for some ancestor synergies like Anwar Paincraver or Xandrite Spellbound. Those can both do great with his ancestor synergies. But yeah, any damage booster is great for a support to use with him because you will want to support with your attacker. And yeah, any ancestor is great as well. It doesn't even have to be these, just ancestors are kind of broken. At least most of them are. Rober is not. So yeah, if you have Rober, don't use him, but any other ancestor is great. And if you need to counter this monster, of course, Kirk Moonwalker is pretty great. You can use Kirk Moonwalker. You can also use these two monsters right here that kind of destroy him. Monsters with reverse healing can stunt his healing moves very well, even though his healing move is only 10%, so that is not that great at all. And you can also go and use any Denier since he doesn't have any control protection. So yeah, overall, he's not very good. Not a very good monster. I probably wouldn't get Cornucrabia, especially since he is in a Talos challenge, so he will cost gems. 
But yeah, let me know down in the comments if you guys feel any differently. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. Goodbye.